I'm Gloria and today I am baking for you a turkey breast in chipotle adobo. This comes out delicious, very tasty, very smoky, and I know that you and your family will love and will enjoy. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. Lori's spices, chipotle sauce with the chili adobo sauce, garlic, it's already diced and very um, smooth, chicken broth, vegetable oil, and of course the star is my turkey breast. I can't wait to start, so let's get started. I am ready. I have my cup my blending cup. I'm going to add my chipotle chilies with the adobo. I'm adding five of them, but if you don't like too many, just add one or two. I'm adding my onion powder. I don't know if you could see it. My onion powder, my lauris ingredient gives the turkey such a delicious flavor and i'm adding here my garlic this garlic is nice and diced and creamy and it's very concentrated it gives the turkey such a delicious taste i'm adding one cup of chicken broth all this i'm going to take it and blend it and i'll see you back when this is completely blended this is completely blended now I am ready to start with my baking dish. On my baking dish, I like to add two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil. The reason that I do this is so my turkey doesn't stick. I'm helping myself with a little napkin to take the excessive oil out of my baking dish. I'm going to add just a little bit of the sauce on the bottom and I'm going to put my turkey right in the center. I have washed and dried my turkey and I am ready to add all the juices to it. I like to add the juice in the inside so the breast comes out nice and tender. And then the rest, I like to just pour it on the top to cover the whole turkey breast. Look how delicious this looks. I am ready for the following step. I am done with my turkey breast. I am ready to cover it. I have turned my oven on to 350 Fahrenheit. Every hour I'm going to be uncovering and adding the juices right on top of the turkey breast. So I'll put it in the oven and I'll see you back in, in an hour. In this little dish, I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of vegetable oil. I am going to add some chili chipotles. I'm adding about five, but if you don't want it too spicy, you could only add about one or two. I wanna blend this very blended. I wanna make it, turn it into paste because this is what I'm going to add right on top of my turkey breast. I'm gonna be blended it until it's nice and blended. As you could see, it has been about five minutes and look how the paste became. The chilies and the oil have combined completely. I am ready for the following step. I am taking out my turkey breast from the oven. I'm checking the temperature. 
the temperature is almost 160. We want to take it out of the oven when it's completely 165. So right here, I'm going to add a little bit of the chipotle sauce right on top. Right on top and then I'm going to put it back in the oven because we want this to be completely cooked from the inside and to be very moist. So I'll put it back in the oven and I'll see you back in about an hour and a half. My friends, I am getting my turkey breast out of the oven, nice and crispy. It's very, very hot. Look at this, look how beautiful this looks. I'm going to let it rest for a couple minutes before I start slicing and tasting this delicious turkey breast. I'm ready to slice my turkey breast. I wanted to show you this step. Look how delicious this looks. This turkey breast is very, very tender. My friends, I hope you could prepare it at home. This is really good. Enjoying my turkey breast. Bye-bye.